So welcome back to IT in 5, where we review vendor product demos in 5 Ish minutes. My name is Garrett Brown and I'm the CPO here at the Channel Program. So today we're going to be looking at Vanahi Security, which offers automated network pen testing and vulnerability assessments for the MSP. So pen testing is a mixed bag. There's all kinds of people offer it. You have to work with third party services and it can take weeks to get those pen test results back. So Vanahi, they offer the results immediate in real time as they're always sitting on your network. So let's dive into the demo. Here's what we saw and here's what we liked. So before we jump into this demo, for those of you who aren't really versed on this kind of stuff, I'd like to super quickly define the difference between a vulnerability assessment and a penetration test. A vulnerability assessment scans the network, creates inventory the systems, hardware, apps on the network, then it scans against the database of the known vulnerabilities. That's why it's good to keep your eye on, on how deep and often a vendor updates their database. On the other hand, a pen test, in a nutshell, is simulations that the same scenarios that a bad actor would use to break into a network. The whole point of using those is to find them, and fix them before the bad actors might find them. All right, so logging in, you're going to find your partner dashboard layout in five major sections. The company section is where you're going to create and view all your companies that you have under your management. The agent section is where you're going to deploy an agent for internal pen test assessments. The scheduled assessment section is where you're going to schedule assessments with a six-step wizard. The assigned subscription section is where you're going to manage the IPs and your client subscriptions. And then this is the section they have laid out in a very easy way. It's very self-explanatory. The report section summarizes how many reports are available and you can quickly select the client and view those reports. They give you as deep as you want white label on options. They include domain branding, logos, icons, the color scheme customization. So the first thing we do is add a company. You can view all the companies you manage in a nice little list. The company profile has its own submenu where you're going to find everything you need to manage the client, pair results, and view those reports. You can see the average number of external and the internal IPs that have been tested in the average runtime against that client. You'll see the client details, how many agents have been deployed, and the reports that are available. So jumping over to the assessments time, you're going to see the current assessments and future assessments. They laid out the details of the current assessments, such as when it started, what base it's in, quick link to the generated report in the name of the assessment type. The reports tab, you'll find all the generated reports for the client. All reports are auto-purged after a certain amount of time, and you'll see that in the date right there. Assessment scheduling follows a seven-step process. They made these steps as simple as possible with any way of just even a little IT knowledge can set up an assessment. Step one, project details where you set up what type of assessment you want to run, and you select the report branding that you want generated when it's complete. Step two is the scan times. You have to drag to select the permitted hours that you want the testing to happen. Step three is frequency. You can select any frequency of dates you'd like the assessments to run. Step four, IP ranges. You can use single range serial notation. You can dictate what ITs you want, exclude, and you can import CSV. Step five is notifications. You can configure notifications for email, SMS, and you can send for an assessment confirmation. Step six is a summary, which sums up the details of the scheduled assessment. Step seven, acknowledgement. You'll acknowledge that you'll have permission from the client to run these assessments. You'll have configured according to the guidelines and that reporting can take up to two days. When an assessment is kicked off, in this case, they were showing me an internal network assessment. You can see in real time the scope of the assessment, the current progress, activity log, findings, node discovery, open ports, and more. The pen test findings tab show you all the findings and you can dial in to each find and of the vulnerability assessments. Now, one of the things I want to point out here, when looking at these details, they would give you a recommendation on how to fix, followed by the reason as why it's an issue and how you can reproduce it. One of their pen test simulations looking for passwords on network share and using those against Node to see what access they can get to. When they find them, they'll present it as evidence that you can show to the client how many passwords are found. Now, when you're ready to view the reports, you can jump over to the reports tab, you can run the executive, technical and supporting evidence reports. You can download all the reports from here. Their support section is easy to access and you can also kick off live chat with them. So security is a, a layered approach, always has been. And I honestly, I think you should consider pen testing as part of your security stack, especially if it's cost efficient. So doing manual testing something me and a team did years ago, it's just one of those things that doing it yourself feels more of a quality approach. Your hands on it, you have control. It just, it feels good. With this pointed out, they said they understand. This is why they're going to provide MSPs a trial to run it and see the results. So from what I saw, I saw some good stuff. I felt like it rivaled that. So let's jump into their channel program profile. They stood up the platform in 2020, grown rapidly with 175 partners a day. They offer support, technical training, and a built-in help center where you can find guides, request product features, 
And they offer live training and click through demos, which is pretty cool. They offer white labeling. Of course, they're going to offer 2FA and MFA. They provide branded sample reports and prices to help you and your sales process. They have two price models. One being designed for smaller MSPs to help grow their MRR and to help the prospect in which they give you 250 IPs across any client. The other is standard where you get 100 IPs per client for the larger. They say you're 30 to 60% less than other options out there. It's an annual subscription. You can pay monthly or uh, annual for 10% up front. Head over to channelprogram.com, search for Vinaya Security, and check them out in our category, Penetration Testing. My name is Garrett Brown, and thank you for watching ITM5. I'll see you out there.